Hi guys, uh, Patrick here from goldkilns.us. What we got here is my little quick kiln, and today we're going to take these little two little ingots here, some old placer gold, and a little bit of stuff I've metal detected. A little over an ounce and a half, almost an ounce and three quarters. And we'll take these two little bars and turn them into a single bar. Um, first thing to do, we're going to light our little quick kiln here, and I'll pull one of these propane things out and light it. And insert it back into the quick kiln. These are the mag torches, and I like the mag torch, it's a lot more controllable than the burns matic Anyhow, we're going to light one of the torches and we're going to turn it up to where we see the blue flame protruding into the interior of the chamber, about a quarter of an inch or so. And we'll go over to this side and we'll turn this one on. And it's kind of spitting a little bit. There we are, we're lit. Now, I'm going to put the spacer on. And I'm going to offset the lid. Now, the reason I did that is, well, it helps things warm up quicker and it keeps the atmospheric oxygen from going back into your crucible. Once kiln's warmed up, once it's good and hot, you can open your torches up more because the combustion is a lot more efficient inside. When you initially light this kiln, if you have your crucible and you put it in there, and if the tip of the blue flame is protruding too far into the chamber there, it'll hit your crucible and it'll cut grooves in the outside of your crucible, which you don't want because it wears your crucible out quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this warm up here until it gets nice and hot inside and then I can almost literally open these torches up wide open. Um, in our crucible here we're going to put about three quarters of a teaspoon of black flux. And this is a little half teaspoon measure here. So we'll dump a half a teaspoon and all oh, about a half, three quarters, somewhere around there. A flux in there. And then we're going to put our the lingots inside the crucible and set it down here. Anyway, while the kiln's warming up, I'll go ahead and turn this off and then when the kiln gets good and hot, we'll put our crucible in. I'll show you how to charge the crucible right into the kiln. And then after it melts, we'll go ahead and pour us a little bar. So, hang on, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, the little kiln's warmed up pretty good now. It's only been three or four minutes, it doesn't take very long. And we'll go ahead and put our crucible in. I'll give you guys a little tip here, I don't know if you can see this or not. When you get your crucible, if you'll take a little round file and file you a little groove in there, when you go to pour your material, instead of it coming out of this real wide lip, it, it helps to collect it and pour it out a little bit better, a little thinner stream. So that's just a little tip. Well, anyhow. We'll take our lid off. We'll take our spacer off. And we're going to center our little crucible inside. Do as good a job as you can of getting it centered. That'll work. Put the spacer back on. And we'll put the lid back on. Now, we'll go ahead and let this warm up and melt, and then we'll pour it into this little mold. I like, I like to set my mold off to the side here, 
and let it get warmed up, pre-warm up your mold before you pour. And so, let's see. Yeah, we got black flux in there today. Always want to use the black flux for gold, white flux for silver or copper. And anyhow, I don't want to pour you, so as soon as this gets warmed up and gets melted, we'll go ahead and pour it. I'll get back to you. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, smoke detector went off because we're here in the garage, so I had to get rid of that. Anyhow, I'm going to put on a pair of gloves here because this gets kind of hot. I got my mold sitting on top. My mold's good and hot. And I'm going to pick up my mold. And set my mold right here. And I'll pick the lid up, set the lid off, take spacer off, and reach in here and fetch a crucible. And we'll pour it over here in the mold. Set a crucible over there. I'm going to put the spacer back on. And put the lid back on. Then we'll go ahead and turn the gas off. And let that little kiln cool down slowly. I always like to restack the kiln so that it cools down slow. And our bar sitting there, cooling off. As soon as it cools off a little bit, I'll pick it up and we'll chip the flux off and we'll see what we got. I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I'm back. I'll open the door and uh, turn the lights on so the smoke detector would shut up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Fell right out of there. Oh, here we go. I get my crescent hammer. We'll tap that flux a little bit. Tap it off the edge. Boy, that bar's still plenty hot. It's only been about, oh, I don't know, five, ten minutes. And before I get too awful carried away here, I'd like to go run it under cold water and then we'll put it in vinegar overnight. A little quick kiln. It's quick. Probably didn't take 15 minutes from the time I let it until we poured this thing. Nice. Thanks for watching.